if we would have composted all that food waste, we could have reduced the pollution caused by 7.8 million cars on the road. Hi, I'm Ashinthia. Hope you guys are all doing good. Today, I'm going to talk about how we can make black gold. You may be wondering what black gold is. I mean organic natural compost, which is sometimes referred to black gold because it has many benefits, such as improving soil structure and increasing microbial activity in the soil, attracting earthworms and other beneficial insects. Okay, hmm, how do we make compost? We first got this idea when we threw all the kitchen scraps in the trash and then it started to smell very bad. Let me show you here. We got a 32 gallon trash can and then we drilled holes all around it, including the bottom and the lid. But remember, when you drill the holes, remember to drill it one fourth of an inch. This is all the equipment you need to make a compost bin. No need to go to the market and buy expensive tumblers. So now, what do you put in the bin? During the fall time, you may see lots of leaves on the ground. After you rake them all, what can you do with them? Yes, you can definitely do that. Then you need to crush the leaves with the lawnmower. We like to crush it twice to make it into small pieces. Then we store them to put into the compost bin. Then take some crushed leaves and spread it into the compost bin. You can use any dry plant paste material. These are called browns in compost language. You can also use shredded paper and small pieces of cardboard. Compost browns are dry, carbon-rich ingredients that give energy to the microorganisms breaking down the food scraps. These browns will maintain a consistent moisture and reduce the smell of the compost. Then we have to add greens, which are rich in nitrogen and good for the compost pile. The greens include kitchen scraps, fruit peels, and grass clippings. But do not add meat, but you can add eggshells. Now the question is, how much greens and browns to add? The simple formula is, if you add greens, add, add four times the amount of browns to it and put them in layers like greens, browns, greens, browns, and keep doing that. You will notice that the compost pile slowly shrinks. So every two to three weeks, just try to mix it with any tool just to let some air flow into the compost pile. So keep adding layers to that ratio and keep mixing the pile once in a while. Another important thing is to keep the compost bin where it can get two to three hours of sunlight so it can maintain temperature. And no matter how much you like other colors, black is preferable to maintain the heat. Now, the big problem is, will the compost bin still compost in the winter? The answer is yes, but this process takes much longer, especially when it goes below freezing. So that is why we maintain three trash bins for composting. Now this is October. As you see here, this compost bin was 
filled last year and we kept it through last winter and this spring and summer. Now it is almost turned into soil, but we added, a, uh, we added some dry leaves and it'll be ready by next spring. So this is another bin. We just finished adding its compost and we added its last layer of dry leaves. We're just gonna leave it all over this winter and maybe it'll be ready to use by the end of next summer. We used up all the compost in this bin for our plants. So now we have just started adding our kitchen scraps and dry leaves into it. And we will keep adding our kitchen scraps uh, into this bin over the winter. So it's fall time right now. So we're adding a lot of dry leaves into it. Do you know the advantages of home composting? Your plants will grow healthy and beautiful like this. And your vegetable plants will give you a better crop. Most importantly, you are taking responsibility of saving the environment. Rather than sending your waste to landfills, if you compost organic wastes such as kitchen scraps, wood, and paper, you are actually reducing the amount of greenhouse gases such as methane and nitrous oxide. I was reading an article from U.S. Composting Council and according to them, the U.S. sent 25 million tons of food waste to landfills in 2005. If we would have composted all that food waste, we could have reduced the pollution caused by 7.8 million cars on the road. I think you guys understand the benefits and impact of home composting. Please try if you can contribute your part to save the environment. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to smash that bell. Bye!